That's what you think initially. And then you hear that, and then you think maybe she fucked Marilyn Manson. That's what I thought. Maybe. Nonetheless, I think we enjoyed her. Bottom line is, guys, we have two comics left. Two comics. So let's hang in there for the last two. Put your claws together right now for Todd Swatter. Right now, give it up for Todd. Yes. Yes. Man, everybody having a good time tonight or what? Holy cow. I work for Carnival Cruise Lines, man. I spend 10 months of the year in the Caribbean. I come back to St. Louis on vacation. And I know that sounds fucked up, but the thing about that is... You didn't think of it first. I think it's genius. My friends are just like, what, really? And I'm like, yeah, it's fucking awesome, man. But it's good to be home, man. I love this town. I love St. Louis. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm a big fan of safe sex. Uh, I went out about a year ago and bought a bunch of condoms, right? This is a funny thing because you go into the condom section, the local CVS or, you know, Walgreens, wherever you like to buy that sort of shit. And, and I go in there, right? And it's, you know, it's all these condoms. And I find these condoms. They're called Trojan Extended Pleasure Condoms. And I'm like, well, that sounds kind of interesting. You read the box and it's supposed to make you last longer. The guy, of course, women, shit, no, we don't want that. So, so I buy a box, I'm looking at them like, you know, they're the same price as the other ones. So I'll go ahead and pick these up. And uh, so I buy them, but you know what happens is when you buy a box of condoms, because like I figured out you get a better deal if you buy them in bulk, right? So I buy a shitload of these fucking things. And what happens when you do that, if you have condoms in your house or in your car or on your person, that guarantee fucking tease, you're not gonna get laid. So I get home, I'm halfway home and this occurs to me, right? I'm like, ah, shit. So I get home and said, shit or fuck or whatever I said and threw it in the, in the, in the drawer. and. I don't know, some time went by, and then all of a sudden I have a lady friend over at the house, and things are going good, one thing leads to another, and so we're at, I'm at that moment, you know, we're in my bed, and, and, and I have that thought, that thought that you know that you get, that uh, I'm just like, wow, as long as I don't fuck up or say anything stupid, sex is going to happen in this house tonight, so, so I'm like, okay, just, just be cool, just be calm, this is all going to work out fine, so... So I, I pretty much, now there's another thing that happens here, it's all about timing, because if you go for the condoms too soon, you know, yeah, you just fucked it up, and if you wait too long, she's gonna be asleep, or at least that's how it usually goes for me. So, so I'm like, all right, it's gotta be about the right time. So, so I, I had the timing right, and somehow things are going actually pretty good, because I, I somehow managed to Houdini myself out of the bed to the dresser, which is across the room, and the, the lights are out, I'm blind as shit without my glasses, so I don't even know how I pulled this miracle off. And of course I got this fucked up nightstand that has no drawers. You can't put them in there, and if you leave, you know, 10,000 condoms next to the bed, that just looks creepy. So, so they're in the dresser, or whatever, they're across the room, and I houdini myself over to the dresser, get them out. And you know, a box of condoms in broad daylight is not that intimidating. I mean, you just open the box, it's not that big of a fucking deal. But in the dark, I mean, I don't have my glasses on, it's dark and shit, and if you ever try to open that in the dark, I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm like, there's no fucking way I can open these things. So thankf thankfully, lights are out, so I gnaw into them like a rat, rip them open, pull the condom out, and uh, now I'm back in bed, and, and things are going good. And I learned a couple of things from this experience. These are extended pleasure condoms. Now, I bought these things months ago, so I forgot that I even had them. I just, at this point, think I'm Superman. Because the female orgasm is kind of like the great white shark. I mean, we all know it exists, but most of us have never seen the fucking thing. And I never had either until this night. These things fucking were. They should be Trojan should be paying me to promote these things. They are unfucking believable. And I also discovered uh, something else that evening. If the if the female orgasm is like the great white shark, then multiple orgasms that's like fucking Bigfoot. You know, you've all seen that grainy picture that like your uncle shows you. And the more you look at it, you're like, that's probably my dad going to take a piss next to the fire. Like that's not fucking Bigfoot. And that's and, and I'm telling you that actually happened this evening. Craziest fucking thing, the craziest thing that ever happened to me. I jumped in. It changed my life. And women, if you don't know this, like guys strive for this. Like we get some confidence from this. We figured out that we, you know, well, we want to make you happy. We do uh, because honestly, we're selfish, and we figured out that if you're happy in bed, we're gonna get more sex. So it's kind of selfish, and I apologize for that. But hey, if you're getting multiple orgasms, I mean, really, what are you bitching about anyway? It's not so bad. So all I know is I jump out of bed, and, and, I, and I'm like 10 foot tall and bulletproof by this point. I jump out of bed, and I'm like Rocky Balboa, not from the first one, because that one sucked, the Rocky Four, where he knocks out the Russian, I will break you. And I jump out of bed, and I'm just, and I'm wore out, mind you. I mean, these condoms, you can, you, you will, you will blow a vertebrae before you blow enough of these things. And I jump out of bed, and I'm all, I mean, I'm just, I'm feeling good about myself. And the victory celebration probably should have ended at that point, but I couldn't resist. I jumped back, I went back in the bed, and this is what I did. I jumped back, I jumped up on the bed, and I did the Ric Flair, woo! I felt so freaking awesome, changed my life. You guys have been awesome, I'm Todd, have a great night, everybody.